Hello once again from Joshua Tree. It's my 30th week of pregnancy and probably one of my very last trips before I give birth. My last bathing suit that will fit my growing tits. <laughs> it also happens to be my 36th birthday. Happy birthday! So I decided to take Garrett to one of my favorite places in the world, the Southern California desert. Last I saw you, I was in a wintry Quebec finishing up my second trimester and while that long journey and driving in the snow for the first time was alright, I'm about done with long journeys for now. This is only about an hour flight. I have restless legs lately, so long flights are brutal, but an hour, I can manage. <laughs> so bright looking at you. So Garrett and I <laughs> are here for like, probably our last big trip before this guy comes. I'm 30, almost 31 weeks pregnant, and today's my birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> we booked a really cool Airbnb. I want to show you guys before we mess it all up. <laughs> it's like a retro dream. <laughs> you never know when you book a place what it's really going to be like when you get here, but when we walked in last night, we were just like, this is so, so cool. They stuck with the theme everywhere. There's little details everywhere. I want to show you the kitchen first. I don't know who thought of going with like this particular color, but it's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> it totally works. It works in here. Look at the sitting area. Kept on theme for this too, and I think one of my favorite things about it is this like retro style TV, but you can still play like Netflix on it. <laughs> and look at this sitting area. This is so cool as well. You can have like seven of your best friends here. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite parts. I love this bed. I love the way that they like made it a built-in. It's kind of like that, like Adobe style dessert, mind you, of uh, New Mexico a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of Santa Fe vibes. And the bathroom, of course, stays on theme. Green door, gold handle. <laughs> I love the floor, like these little stones. And this whole place is a design dream. Oh. And there's a whole other room too, and an amazing outside. Let's go. Welcome outside, this is probably the best part. Cornhole? Yes. Just makes me think of Beavis and Butthead. Put a clip of that in there. <laughs> I am Cornholio. I need TV for my bungalow. I am the great Cornholio. <laughs> what does that even mean? Is this still rolling? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the other cool spot. Give us the tour, Garrett. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is the other room that if you brought like you know, a whole other family you could fit in here. The first thing I noticed is this giant pool table. So this is like the game room. This is like the rock and roll room. You get your own set of like bathrobes and pool stuff here. We just realized what this couch is here for because there's a giant TV over there. And then the other cool thing about this is you have two queen size bunks here. So I feel like you could easily fit like two adults comfortably or obviously children. There's a little kitchenette. You've got your own green coffee maker. Um, you can make tea if you want to. There's an induction stove here. So people don't have to run over to the other one. Yeah, so you don't have to wake up the other people if they're still sleeping or whatever and you want your morning coffee. TV there. Oh, there's another TV in case you want to be in, in the bunk bed, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They thought of every detail in a way that I just never would. <laughs> this is like the rock and roll room. There's even a guitar over there. There's all these movie posters. There's two ACs, so you will not get too hot in here. I love all these pictures from Joshua Tree. And the bathroom. The bathroom is beautiful. Look at the tiles in here. Oh my, what is going on in this toilet? It's a nightlight. It's like a disco toilet. I love the pool though, it's a shipping container and there's even like a little window cut out, so we're definitely hitting that up. Pool boy, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Bathing suit that will fit my growing tits. 
months. <laughs> I didn't think they grew this much when you were pregnant. I knew they would quit from nursing, but like, <laughs> When we figure out what we wanna eat, I'm always thinking about, like now, I thought about nutrition before, but now I'm thinking so much more about the importance of getting certain things for the baby. I'm just so much more conscious now of like what I'm putting in my body. So this morning, we had some granola with berries and bananas so that gave me calcium and all the antioxidants from the berries and now I want to make us a nice salad another thing I've tried to be super conscious of and I did this before but now I'm like ultra careful is everything organic I've got cucumber rainbow potato sweet bell pepper tomato avocado of course and they left us in our like this little snack pack so these cheesy wisps I'm gonna crumple and put on top. And they also have vinegar and oil, which is really good because we just realized we completely forgot to buy dressing yesterday. And I'm putting that on some greens. Look, they say to eat the rainbow. Lunch time. Mmm, that turned out nice. Oh, it's time. Our host left us this sparkling uh, white tea beverage. Preggy champagne. Well, that's not ideal. I can't either. Mental math eludes me right now. <laughs> okay, we had to take a little scrabble break for dinner. Making burgers. to the game. Oh yeah. <laughs> tit is a word? What? Uh, the word this? tit is a valid Scrabble word. <laughs> tit. A mammillary grand teat. Really? <laughs> tit. A woman's breast. Tit. An idiot or a fool. So I can use vulgar words on here. Good to know. No. Quick sunset drawn break. <laughs> Cool to see you out here. Oh my gosh. I've decided that I want to try hypnobirthing for the birthing process. It's basically where you meditate and tap into a relaxed state through the whole thing and just trust your body to do what it's meant to do. So I like that. I find that very simple and approachable. So the most important thing that you do though is practice. So Every day I try to at least do one of the meditations and they can range anywhere from five to like 30 minutes, but ideally as it gets closer, I'll be doing at least a couple hours of the meditations each day because during the labor, I'll be doing it ideally the whole time. So let's settle in and do one. I'm not completely new to meditation, but I know that practicing is super important because I admit I haven't been wonderful about doing it lately. So I'm trying to get in as much practice as I can so that this feels natural to me when the big moment comes. For today's breakfast, we're gonna do eggs and chicken sausage and potatoes that I boiled yesterday. I try to eat eggs every day. I have been really good about it because they have choline in them, which is really good for brain development. But um, after like seven months of them every single day, I did start to get really tired of them. <laughs> but yeah, back on it today. Not bad. Always just easy, easy, easy. Ooh. <laughs> fish oil for brain development. And then I've been needing to take an iron supplement, gummy prenatals, because although I'm having a child, I'm also a child. <laughs> All right, here we are. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> These last two days relaxing in the desert have just been a reminder that we have so much fun when it's just the two of us. And I have to admit, it's a little bit hard to get used to the fact that that's going to be over soon. A little hazy today. A little bit. A little bit. 
but I am really excited to be sharing our world with this new being. And I'm just soaking up the last few moments that we get to be just the two of us before we go on this new adventure. Time to head out. I've peed no joke like 20 times in the last hour. Yeah, he's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye, birdhouse.